In this video, I will show you how you can apply the magnetic extruder fan mod for the ANIT A8. Come and join me! Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. In the last video, I've shown you how to install the extruder fan hinge mod, which is really helpful. Now, thanks to our viewer, Kurt Wolfe, hey buddy, I got to know about a much cooler mod, the magnetic extruder fan mount. Check it out here. In the next minutes, I will walk you through the steps of installing this mod and what parts are needed. Also check the description and comment section for links to additional information, amendments to the content and parts used in this video. First, let's summarize what we will need to make this modification. Print out the two parts of the mod from Thingiverse first. I am using 8 by 3 mm magnets to hold the parts together, but if you have different ones, check out the remixes on Thingiverse of the original mod to find the part that is fitting your magnet size. For the final assembly, we will need two M3 by 18 mm screws and two M3 hex nuts that come already with your printer. Also, we will need two countersunk screws M3 by 25 mm, which you can make from the M3 by 30 mm by cutting them by 5 mm. To fix the magnets into their cavities, I am using a few drops of superglue. Also, get some Loctite to fix the nuts, otherwise they might fall off during the print because of the constant vibrations of the printer. First of all, a little disclaimer, I had to move my 3D touch sensor to another place because the original holder does not work anymore with the magnetic fan mount. This new holder mounted in front of the nozzle fan works fine and I have linked it in the description. Anyway, I'm working on a custom version of the magnetic fan mount to hold the 3D touch much closer to the nozzle, which I will post in the comment section once it's done and tested. Let's start with the disassembly of the extruder fan and the cooling block. We can put the cooling block aside now because it's not needed anymore for this modification ongoing. The first part of the assembly is to glue the magnets into the printed parts. I am putting a small drop of superglue into the cavities of the first part. Then I am pressing the magnets into it using a gripper. For me it was a little bit difficult because the printed parts holes seem to be very tight for the magnets, but I managed to press them in using the gripper with some more force. Now, we need to check that the orientation of the magnets for the second part is correct. The easiest way to do this is to take two magnets and let them fall onto the first part's magnets. They are so strong, they will self-orient correctly. Now, put superglue into the cavities of the second part. We will just press down the second part onto the magnets on the first part to get them into the cavities. This can be again a little bit harder, but this is actually good because the magnets are really strong and otherwise might come out of their place again. Use a gripper again to press the magnets into their final position. It can require some force. I actually found that using a bar clamp is easier to make the magnets flush with the printed parts surface. Check out once again if both parts nicely snap together with the magnets. Now it's time to mount the parts to the fan and the extruder. Fix the fan protector and the fan to the thinner mod part using the two M3 by 20 mm screws and two hex nuts. Now fix the second part to the extruder with two M3 by 25 mm screws. And now we can let the fan part snap onto the extruder part. Don't forget to fix the nuts on the fan part with some Loctite because the printer vibrations might release the nuts over time and nobody wants hex nuts falling on the print bit, right? So let's fix that. Now we can do some magnetic fan action. 
Last advice, because we modified parts of the extruder mount and probably changed the distance of the bed leveling probe, you will have to recalibrate your probe distance and do a bed leveling test again before starting a new print. Really cool mod, I think I'm gonna keep it. That's it for today. If you appreciate this video, please smash the like button, consider subscribing to my channel to support me creating new content for you and ring the bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.